Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Tangle Deep. Now Tangle Deep is a roguelike and it is in the vein of, well, SNES era RPGs and you'll see how amazing it actually is. I've kind of become kind of infatuated with it a little bit because it is just that good. It is a very high quality product. Anyway, it is coming out, I believe, probably today, well, February 1st, and you can check out the game through the link in the description. So let us start a new game. For untold generations, my people have lived deep within the earth, surrounded by verdant subterranean forests, sparkling waters, and crystalline luminance. We all have a special connection to this world, a bond with nature we call the touch. Some are born with an abundance of touch which fills them with a sense of adventure, an urge to explore the wilds beyond our home. Those with extra touch can even inherit the appearance of animals. And sometimes, when we fully experience the touch, we are drawn to Tangle Deep, an ever-changing labyrinth that leads upward to a world that no one has ever seen. I have never felt the touch, unlike many others in my home of Riverstone Camp, Yet there is so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today I have decided I will go there and find my own answers. Alright, so now we get to select which game mode we're going to be playing. Alright, so heroic mode. If you reach 0 HP, the game ends. Permadeath. Only banked goods and town progress will be saved. This is challenging, but also the intended way to experience Tangle Deep. You can also, if you want, play an adventure mode, which doesn't really hamper your character in any way so you can continue to play with the same character and that's recommended for roguelike beginners and then we have the hardcore mode which is insane as you can see all traces of your adventure are permanently erased <laughs> uh, we're gonna play on heroic mode i think all right now there are a number of different characters here now bear in mind that i am playing the slightly preview beta version because it's currently still in early access but it is coming out very very soon as a full release and you can play as all kinds of different characters which is just absolutely fantastic so I have no idea which one I'm gonna pick but I took a look a little bit earlier and I actually really like the Floromancer I feel like the Floromancer is my kind of character because you can summon pets to help you. The Flora Conda is your main pet that you use apparently, and that's pretty cool, but you can choose between all kinds of things. Soul Keeper, Sword Dancer, Paladin, Hunter, Spell Shaper, and yeah, all kinds of things. So I'm gonna be, well, I'm, I think I'm gonna be selecting the Floromancer. There we go. What is your name? Ah, uh, I, uh, I, uh, random. I should have randomed, but I, I think I'll just go for Reformist. Now we can pick two feats. And these obviously make things a little bit easier for you. Start with extra HP and gain more each level. Hmm. Find more money, heal more. Hmm, I think I'm just going to go for fast learner and toughness. I feel like that is probably good for me. I've been waiting to get out here for so long. I can hear them, all of them singing, laughing, sharing stories. Tangle Deep is so noisy and alive. Today I'm going to make new friends, and they'll tell me everything. Alright, so let's speak to Eren. Tangle Deep has as many tales as leaves and branches. Legends stand tall like ancient trees, but they're grounded in winding roots and countless stories. Would you like to make some stories of your own? Tell me. Here's one way to make a name for yourself. Discover Jelly Grotto. There are rumors of a place called Jelly Grotto that can be reached through Cedar Caverns. Seek it out and see what lies in wait. We are going to be gaining a greedy knife from that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there are rumors in the game that will give you an idea as to where you should go and then you can get some extra rewards for that. Ah, oh, you've arrived! Best day ever! You and me are going to get along so great. We're going to take such good care of each other and you're climbing all the way to the top. The tippy top of Tangle Deep. See my loots, swords and boots. Be prepared for any route. You can do it. You're so peppy. Yes, you are. It's a family tradition. My sisters and I just love adventurers like you. We think you're the coolest and the strongest and the best. We keep our shops chock full of the spangled sparkliest gear we can find and sell it cheap. There we go. Hooray! Yeah, so this is the merchant, so you can buy and sell items here. 
and then we have the consumable shop as well. Now bear in mind that this is a turn-based roguelike which can technically, well kind of technically be played in real time if you continue moving. But basically how it is is if you move, then monsters move. It's very similar to a game called Dungeons of Dreadmore. Don't know whether you know that, but if you do then, well there you go you know exactly what it is and ah you can buy some food here as well if you so desire but I, I don't think we're gonna be worrying about that too much let's pick up that whatever that was <laughs> and we're now gonna go into the cave today is the big day I'm so excited for you have you spoken to Erin at the campfire yet she will give you rumors that will help guide your journey into Tangle Deep you'll even earn rewards for investigating them Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just ahead in the follies, but beyond that, everything is shrouded in mystery. People have brought back powerful ancient gear, and there's stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus and metal that lives. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure, that's for sure. The greatest treasure of all is knowledge. What's up there? What's at the end? Is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about where we came from, your heroism will help us all. Alright, let's do this. Would you like to play the two tutorial floors? Well, why not? I've actually already played these, but I thought it might be kind of interesting for you to see actually what's going on. Yeah, there, there you go. So monsters only move when you do. Take your time planning your next action. I actually don't think I need the tips, but it would be kind of nice to just kind of show you what's going on here for the most part. So we can attack from range at the moment because we're currently using a spark staff, and that has a range of three squares. And we can pick up some energy. Energy is what you use to basically well, conjure things, use abilities and spells and all that sort of stuff, so that's pretty nice. We also have a healing flask here, kind of Dark Souls style a bit, but what that does is it actually heals you over time, and you can refill it by going to magical fountains. And those magical fountains don't respawn the enemies, Dark Souls style, so you don't have to worry about that too much. And there's some gold on the ground. Now we do need to be quite careful about these ice shards. Now if you don't want to move, you can either click on your character, or you can just press space, as you can see. Then I can just avoid, oh, whoops, don't want to do that, thank you very much. <laughs> Need to be pretty careful there, don't really want to get absolutely murdered immediately by some trap. There we go, we, oh, we got a pebble pouch. Now, there are consumables in the game, and consumables I will either be consumed, because that is obviously the word, you know, they'll either be consumed immediately, or they will stick around for a couple of turns. But so far, we are not having too many difficulties. Thankfully, I do have Fast Learner, so it is going to make things much, much easier for us in the long run, because I will be able to level up a little bit quicker. Alright, let's just go over this way. Ah, oh, that's a Slingshot. Yeah, the Slingshot has 135 damage instead of 120, but I don't really know whether I really want to use that. So I'm just going to stay with my staff at the moment. As you can see, they also telegraph their attacks quite nicely, the enemies. So you can hopefully get out of those things before you're, well, hopefully not roasted to a cinder. I'm going to heal myself. There's another fountain there, so not to worry. We are almost to level 2 as well. There we go. Oh, oh wow, we got a lot of enemies right there. But that's okay. I actually don't think that's too bad. Nice. Alright, so yeah, I probably want to use my flask again soon. But let's just be a little bit careful with that because we don't want to use it too much. And do bear in mind that there are environmental effects as well. So, for example, there are certain things on the ground. For example, water. Water does make shock spells much more effective. So if you're going to use lightning, then it's obviously much better to use it when the enemy is in water. There's also mud, and mud you can get stuck in for a turn or two. Ooh, a monster mallet. Ah, a monster mallet is pretty awesome. So if I actually show you that, a monster mallet knocks out a non-champion monster at 15% health or less. And that means you can tame 
enemies basically so if you find something that you think is really really cool or you just want to have a little friend to accompany you in the dungeons and on your adventures then you could do that and that is in my opinion pretty awesome so yeah we're hopefully going to try and do that at some point but at the moment I've already found the stairs up but I'd kind of like to explore a little bit more of this map just to make sure that we have seen every I think we've actually seen everything as you can see there hmm all right well that means I can just leave then easy enough The safest areas of Tangled Deep are still dangerous. Many have tried to tame it, but nature wins in the end. Ornery creatures and unsavory characters call the Follies home. All right, a large wooden crate, a dungeon digest? What is this? It's a legendary? Wow, okay, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. An incredibly dense annotated book full of facts about and knowledge of Tangled Deep. Who could have written it? It's an offhand. And we've got some fine cheese as well. Mold-infested vermin is drawn to the sound of nearby battle. Yes, there it is over there. Okay, I've got to move back a little bit here. Oh, I'm getting pulled. Going to use a healing flask. There we go. A nice level up. Okay, that's exactly what we needed right now. So there are five different stats that you can level up, as you can see here. You have Guile, Discipline, Spirit, Swiftness, and Strength. Obviously, these are all for the you know, other classes and things, like Strength is obviously for the Warrior archetypes, and Swiftness is for the Bow user, as well as Guile, of course, for parry chances and crit chances and so on and so forth. But what we're going to do is we're going to use Discipline. I'm going to be, or I'm going to attempt to be a pet build, because I am a big fan of using pets and summon or summonable abilities in games like this so we're gonna go for discipline for the moment and does that mean I also have do I do I have a a, a skill point to spend does that mean I have a skill point do I do I not uh, well maybe uh, can I actually do this I'd like to I'd like to equip this actually whoops <laughs> that was not what I meant to do There we go. I equipped it. Fantastic. All right, so now we can just kill these relatively simply. And yes, there we go. We have enough to learn some abilities now. So there you go. So now we have enough JP, which is the learning points, basically. And we can learn Summon Flora Conda. We can learn a bunch of other things as well. I actually think I might like to conjure Vine Wall. I think that could be pretty useful. So let's just see how we go with that. Now I do have the Flora Conda. I'm actually gonna... Can I can I change where that is on the... Hmm. It seems like I can't change where it is on the quick bar at the moment, but I don't really think it matters too much at the moment anyway. Ah, what is this? Hmm. Apparently someone is... It's maybe a slime or something along those lines writing those things. Ah, yes, mud. Mud is kind of annoying. Because I'm actually just going to move into the mud so you can actually see what it does. As you can see, you try to move, but you're rooted in place. Now, you can get boots that make you immune to the effects of mud, which, in my opinion, is really cool. And you cannot have two Floricondas at once. I think maybe you might be able to later on. But at the moment, we're only able to summon the one, which in my opinion is absolutely fine. So let's just continue to walk around a little bit here. I'm going to try and find as many of these fountains as I can, because that is probably going to determine whether we're able to survive long enough. Thankfully, I now have a pet. Ooh, that is a nice weapon. That is a very nice weapon. Let's actually see what it's all about. Ooh, plus 20% damage if you're over 75% health. Deals extra damage based on HP lost. Huh, can I can I use that? Yeah, I guess I can try to use it. I mean, it is a close range weapon. I'm not a big fan of that. But, okay. Mm, unfortunately, we do have to automatically switch back to the staff when we are at range. So if we really want to use the dagger, I guess we have to go pretty close. Yeah, we have to go pretty close for that, which is actually not too bad. It does pretty decent damage. But I kind of like the staff's range still, so yeah, I guess I'm just going to continue using that. My Floriconda did 
get killed, but that's okay because we actually get bonuses when it dies. So then we can just resummon another one and continue onward. I've already found the next level, by the way, as well, so we probably just want to go there. What is this? Ah, stairs to Jelly Grotto. There we are, we've completed that rumor. It's basically like a quest, and you gain the greedy knife from that. So what does the greedy knife do? Let's take a look at that. Ooh, very nice. Uh, the damage is based on guile and strength. It deals extra damage with consecutive hits on the same target. And you gain plus 15% gold from monsters. Hmm, well that's pretty good. But obviously at the moment, that's really not very good for me because, well... Uh, I, I don't know, I kind of like the range of the staff, and I think that if I wasn't going to play this class, then I'd probably play maybe the Ranger or something like that, because I kind of like range in general in these kinds of games, because you're able to much more easily manipulate the battlefield to your advantage. So that's usually what I tend to go for. Let's try and not get killed, shall we? Now, bear in mind that most of these things can be sold as well. So that's obviously going to make a huge difference to our coffers. Now, I could technically use that mallet on this. I actually don't know whether I need to be really, really close for that, though. So let's just... Can I use it right now? No, I need to be really close for that. Ah, oh, I wanted to try and get this electric jelly, but... Oh well, never mind. I guess I just have to kill it. I need to be a little bit closer than that. Alright. Oh, Langdon. Oh, Jelly Boo, Jelly Boo, where are you? Come on out, you little pile of goo. My poor pet. Ah, is everything okay? I came here with my pet Jelly to help get her socialized with the other slimes here, but she went away when I wasn't looking. Now who knows what kind of dang old trouble she's in. I'm not much one for fighting, so I can't go looking. I can look for you. You'll do that for me? That's super nice. Oh, there we go. So now we have a sort of side quest a little bit here to look around. Wow, we're making a lot of cash. That is for sure. Ah, oh, there's another magic fountain and some treasure. And where haven't we looked? Ah, oh, we, we haven't looked over in this direction. Wow, there's a lot of mud here. Not a big fan of that. It's going to keep us rooted. Got to keep out of it. What is that? Oh, hello there. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is a hard level monster. Now you're going to, uh, you know, encounter some of these sometimes and they tend to have better than average loot and better than average abilities as you can see so let's let's try and see if i can summon this so i can kind of get them oh wow okay that is that is interesting okay i'm gonna have to be pretty careful here okay so maybe i can do this okay and take one of my flasks. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to start doing some damage. There we go. Phew! <laughs> that was oh, that was very close. I I actually felt my demise coming very very soon. Okay, so there you go. We're gonna hmm. We could get some more staff damage, but that technically already is happening with discipline and giving my pet some extra HP. In my opinion, is really good. So we're gonna do that. I picked up some hide armor and a flame cocktail. That's basically a Molotov, so you can throw that if you so desire. There's some treasure over here. Uh, there's another electric slime. Ah, there's Jelly Boo! There is Jelly Boo for the little side quest. And the side area has now been cleared. This is actually not even progressing us to you know, get through the dungeon. This is just a side area for a nice little quest. There we go. Go back the way you came, if you want to return. Fancy chest. Mud. And... <laughs> Hood of treasures and muscle. And also a fairy's choker. Wow, some pretty awesome loot, I gotta say. What is that? Wow, okay. That is pretty amazing. And now we can speak to Jellyboo. Glop, glop. Um, your master is looking for you. There we go. And there she goes. Alright, so now we can go back to Langdon and hopefully speak to him. If I can find the way. 
There he is. Well, I'll be darned, and my voice has changed. <laughs> you found my jelly boo, don't know what I would have done if anything happened to this dumb old goober. Thank you, you're a real gem, I owe you one. Got anything that might be useful to me? Ah, <laughs> uh, I found some tree seeds in, in, my, in my pocket. Here you go. Wow, gee thanks. Goodbye. There we go. Alright, so yes, there you go. There's a little look at Tangle Deep. And if you'd like to check it out, the link is in the description. If you'd like to see more, then let me know. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.